wanted to give you guys a tour of our aquaponics system here in Northwest Guanacaste, Costa Rica. If you're not familiar with aquaponics, it's basically connecting fish farming systems with hydroponic systems, which means that the plants grow in water, and that water is supplied with nutrients from the fish waste. It's a pretty cool uh, nature hack. Uh, we have two fish tanks. Uh, one is filled with tilapia. There's probably 60 or 70 in there, and the other is filled with some new catfish, and they're just starting to get bigger. We've got about 20 in the other one. Uh, we've got five grow beds right here. Uh, four of them are filled with uh, volcanic rock gravel. The plants do not have any dirt at all, totally growing in rock there. And we have this center bed here where we grow a combination of floating plants and we're doing some, um, some actual some shrimp in here as well. Uh, we haven't quite mastered the art of uh, freshwater shrimp farming, but they're in there and they're getting bigger and we try to keep them well fed because they're pretty carnivorous little guys and they'll eat the heck out of each other if you don't keep them well fed. It's been a fun project though. Uh, we put the water hyacinth in there as well to uh, it, it works as chicken and duck feed and also cleans the water. The beds basically fill and drain using an auto siphon system. Uh, the Romans were pretty smart folks. I'll tell you I couldn't figure out these auto siphons until we actually built them. Um, the center thing here with the barrel is basically it's it's a manifold where water gets pumped up to and water falls down into these tanks. Everything is gravity fed back into our grow beds. Uh, we're coming up to one of our grow beds here where we grow sisu spinach, okinawa spinach, celery. It's a pretty productive bed. But basically after the water leaves these grow beds it goes down into this sump here where it collects and then it gets pumped back up to the top where it water falls down the tanks and goes through the whole process again. Um, like I said, it's ironic you do actually save water doing this because uh, all the water is recycled. Um, the beds act as biofilters for the fish. And here you can see some right now. You can actually see some babies in there. They've been laying a lot lately. Um, but it's, uh, it's a really cool system. And you don't have to start big either. These are our uh, sediment filters. We had a problem with the beds uh, getting clogged up with a lot of solids from the, the fish poop, so we started uh, seeking a solution, and these basically saved the day. Uh, and we can also extract uh, the solids from the filters, and we use that in our dirt gardens as a, as a fertilizer. We got this really good fish, fish poo sludge, and it seems to really help our plants out. And there you see Jody. Uh, harvesting some fish. Thanks for checking us out and check out our website survivalgardener.com. We've got a lot of posts on interesting unique plants that grow in hot weather in the tropics with a big focus on perennial vegetables and basically the idea is uh, to build a garden that you don't have to keep replanting it just keeps producing food all year. Notte giorno, di torno girano, delle belle trovando al riposo, ma ci si è trovato gino d'amor. Delle belle trovando al riposo, ma ci si è trovato gino d'amor.